up guys? My name's Mike. Thanks for joining me. In the last episode you saw us hang the towel rail for the bathroom. In this one we're going to pipe it up. So, I'll drop it down so you can see what we're doing. So, this is where our pipes come into the bathroom. For some reason there's two isolation valves on these. But they look like they've been leaking quite a while. So I'm going to cut cut these pipes there and there and connect onto them. So, we'll get started. So, we've drained the system. I'm just going to let the air out. So with your spanner, just open the valve, the original valve. This is where the old radiator used to be. So. Open the other one. Just give that a couple of minutes. Whilst that is draining, I'm going to get your valve. This is a tail for your, this goes inside the radiator. And then your valve fastens onto it like so, which will be in there. So whilst that's doing its thing, get your radiator tail, either some PTFA, I like to use this Loctite stuff, looks a bit like dental floss, real strong, really good stuff. And just start by wrapping it round. I always like to work from the bottom to the top. Just a few turns, you don't need to go mad. Cut it off. And just start it in. Now there's two ways you can fasten these in. You need um, a radiator spanner really. But if you, if you see inside there, you can use a big Allen key. Oh. I've got one of these adjustable socket sets here with the radiator key on the end. And this is designed for a few different sizes. You can see how it staggers itself. So that literally goes in there like so. Then you can nip it up. Nice and tight. Take your valve. Put your valve on there ready. And then with the other side, just simply repeat and do the same thing. They're both in there now, nice and tight. Now with a bit of copper, simply place it on the floor and hold it just to where it goes into the valve. Take your pipe slice and just cut that piece off. <coughs> I'm going to use this as a guide to where to drill our hole. We 
take the nut and olive off. Just place it over. Add it in. And rest it onto the floor. Try to square it up so it's nice and straight. With your pen or pencil. So we can do a line in the front. A line at the side. Then take the valve off. Just join the two lines up. Like so. And with your drill, you just simply want to drill a hole through there. And again with the other side, do the same thing. So now you've got your holes ready. Put your valve back on. Just finger tight. Again, a bit of copper to hold it to the valve, hold it to the floor, sorry. Then you want about three or four inches extra above the top of the valve. So just cut that off. You can use that as a template for the other one. Cut that one off. So these are going to be the pieces that go through and join on. But first, we need to cut the old ones out of the way. So again, with your pipe slice, socket Just literally push it over the old one you can simply just twist it off that wasn't soldered very well was it look it's come straight out there some blue worm. Just pop it under the floor just to gather any water that might spill out. So again, get your valve, your piece of your piece of pipe that will now go through. Put them on. I like to take the nut off, hold the olive, I like to put some jointing compound in, this is just some, some jet blow, it's nothing special, and just simply where the olive is, just go around, this just helps it to seal a bit better, go over, 
back in then with your spanner adjustable just hold it tight and just nip it don't have to be with mega tight just so now it won't come apart so now you've got your pipe or your valve on simply poke it through the hole connect it on again with the adjustable get that nice and tight and then you can go back to the bottom just hold against here with your hand and nip it up so now that's ready to go now what you want to do get yourself a bit of pipe I'm just using 15mm HEP pipe here Cut this one out of the way first whilst we're here. <clears throat> if you find you can't get in because there is two pipes close together just simply get your grips get some grips around the pipe slice and that will help you out a bit better so again cut this off a bit more blue roll just in case otherwise you end up with water coming through the ceiling Again, just snap this to the ball off. Take the off piece out of the way. Again, that one can't be soldered very well. You can actually see where it's where the solder's missed. If you can see that where the copper is. Throw that way. That'll go in my scrap bag. So, I'm going to get your heft pipe, 15mm, you want to make sure you put an insert in the end, your slots in there, they're quite important then. Then with your 15mm heft elbow, push it in, then you can, I'm going to guide the pipe under the floor. Hold this pipe and just simply push it up. That wants to be right there. Now with your hep cutters, once you know where about you want to cut it, simply cut it off. Again. Another insert into the opposite end. Get it in there nice. You want a pipe clip. Put that over there. Just nail it in. Keeps the pipe nice and secure now. Then we can move to the next one. So again, hep socket. If you're putting hep fittings onto copper, you won't need the insert. You only need the insert into the end of the copper. So hep socket, <coughs> pushed on like so. With your next bit of pipe, your next valve, Literally repeat the process. Some paste. Get your valve back. 
you can see how it squirts out. And once you nip it all together, once the olive squashes to the pipe, it'll create a really good seal. Again, just nip it up. Don't have to be mega tight, just as tight as you can get it by hand. Just swing you over. You can see the other side. Again, through. Bring your spanner. Holding the valve. Set. Half elbow, pushed in place, and then just feed it under the floor again. You're going to hold, hold the pipe, feed it under, feel where the bottom of the pipe is, and just push it in place. Measure your pipe, mark it. Into your second socket. I think with this clip, we're going to put this pipe clip in here. And that's that. Pretty easy. All that's left to do now is to go downstairs, top your boiler up. Lead your radiator. And then that's done. So, if you like that video, found it useful, hit the subscribe button and join me for the next one. Thank you very much.